Republicans are poised to take control of the House this November, and they're already prepping plans for how to use that increased power in the next Congress. If Republicans do win in the midterms, it'll be the first time they've held a majority of the lower chamber since early 2019, even before President Biden occupied the White House. Forecaster 538 currently has Republicans favored to flip control of the House this November, despite Democratic momentum picking up this summer. They need to net just six seats to take the majority. And with that rosy outlook, Republicans are doubling down on key issues to galvanize their voters in the final stretch to Election Day and to give a taste of what a GOP majority could look like come January. McCarthy called the platform a plan for a new direction. Now, the commitment to America is based on four main pillars. First off, the economy, which includes fighting inflation, a key issue for Republicans this cycle. Second is safety, such as securing the border, reducing crime, and defending national security. Third, a future that's built on freedom, including confronting big tech and some culture war issues, like giving parents a say in their children's education. And fourth, government accountability, which includes protecting constitutional freedoms, the Second Amendment, free speech, free religion, and also protecting the life of the unborn child. Now, the commitment to America is a rather vague plan that includes few policy proposals and more emphasizes Republican priorities this November. But one thing is for sure. McCarthy said that if Republicans do take control of the House this November, their first target is the IRS. The GOP leader said the conference's first bill of the session would be a measure aimed at reversing a part of the Democrats' Inflation Reduction Act, which provided $80 billion to the IRS to increase staff. The funds are mainly directed at high-income earner compliance. Another definite feature of a House GOP majority would be a multitude of investigations targeting all corners of the Biden administration. The president's handling of the Afghanistan withdrawal, Dr. Anthony Fauci and the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic, the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border, and the Department of Justice. Probes could also be launched into the president's family, specifically the business ventures of his son, Hunter Biden. But Democrats don't appear to be nervous or deterred by the unveiling of the GOP midterm agenda. President Biden in September called the plan a thin series of policy goals with little or no detail. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the agenda is extremist and far too dangerous for families and democracy. But for now, all eyes are fixed on November and those midterm races, where again, Republicans have to net at least six seats if they want to implement any of this plan in the next Congress. Thank you.